Yo, what's up guys, how's it going? This is me Osama Gazel. Welcome to my channel and in today's video we'll be explaining how to create that sort of glitch effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it's actually pretty easy effect and um, doesn't need a lot of time to do it. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so first of all, excuse me guys if I sound it a little bit uh, nasally. I know my voice is a little bit cracking all over the place. Um, it's because I got cold. Uh, the last few days, uh, yeah, and it wasn't a, a good experience, so, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the first step here in applying the uh, glitchy effects uh, we're talking about this time is by doing the same, pretty much the same steps, starting off with an adjustment layer, drag it and place it on top of our two clips, like that. Uh, and of course, uh, as we explained it many times before, if you want to create an adjustment layer, you can just uh, press this button over here, choose adjustment layer, and it goes on here by default. All right, and the second step will be actually looking up for something in an effects panel called Mosaic. And as you guys can see, it immediately starts glitching my video. Um, but I don't really want it to look like that. I just want to customize and change a little bit in these settings. And to do that, we can just go and mess a little bit up with the horizontal and vertical blocks over here. And of course, create different keyframes for each value. So first of all, we'll go with a cursor. I'm going to drag it to the middle point between our two clips. And uh, change the horizontal blocks a little bit and the vertical blocks like that. And as you guys can see, uh, our keyframes are automatically toggled by default because I had these watch icons. Um, activated. All right, now I'll move this cursor like five keyframes backwards in order to set the starting keyframes. All right, I guess that will be enough. And drop these values all the way down to one. And by the way, guys, uh, here the lowest value is one instead of zero. So just be careful. And um, because we have that, once we drop the value down to one, we can't get back to our original image, which was this. So in order to fix that, I will go to my starting keyframe and drag the adjustment layer all the way forward. So it starts right at the starting keyframe. All right, now I'll move to the middle keyframe again and count five keyframes forwards and create the ending keyframes one and one. Then we have to repeat the same thing to get rid of that gray color. Just drag the adjustment layer back to the ending keyframe. And here it is. Let's check that out. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you didn't like the number of blocks here, if you think that's, that's kind of too much and you want to um, fix it a little more and make it a little bit glitchier if this is the right word you can always mess up a little bit here with the horizontal and the vertical blocks and increase that or reduce this uh, the way you want it then and as you guys can see we actually created a few more keyframes here and uh, that's why it gets a little bit faster and you know crazier if we can say all right so that's pretty much it for the mosaic effect or how to how I personally prefer to create that glitchy effect uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro. And one last thing about the mosaic effect guys is that let me just uncheck that. If you don't like how the blocks over here look like, uh, if you think it's a little more uh, faded and you want to increase the contrast of the colors, so you can do that by checking the sharp colors box over here. All right, guys, and since we're actually talking about the uh, glitch effect in Adobe Premiere Pro, as I said before, I personally prefer to use the mosaic effect, uh, but some people and some video editors prefer to use something else called wave warp. And you can find it under distort, just drag it and drop it onto the adjustment layer. And, and instead of dealing with horizontal and vertical blocks in the mosaic effect, here we're actually dealing with wave height and wave width. So if you drag this up, as you guys can see, it changed vertically. And if you drag the wave width, it changed horizontally. 
And by the way, here uh, there is something called the wave type, and it's pretty much similar to the same concept of the blend mode, but for the waves. So you're actually changing the style of these waves, making it circle or change it to, uh, I don't know, triangles, for example. It depends on how you want it to look like. And of course, uh, because these waves are going to be moving, so you can control the speed of this movement by changing the wave speed over here. Alright, so uh, what I'm trying to say here guys, um, there are a few more possibilities in Adobe Premiere Pro uh, for the same effect. So I'm just trying to let you know what are these possibilities and how to use it. Then after you understand the idea, you can just play a little bit around with these tools and um, try how it looks like. But before ending this video guys, there is a very important thing I, I would like to uh, let you know about the wave warp. If you ever decided to use the wave warp instead of the mosaic effect. Um, after you customize how the waves are going to look like and after you finish everything, don't forget to change the pinning to all edges in order for these black sharp edges to disappear. This is really important guys. Alright, so this is everything for today guys, I really hope you like this video and as I'm always saying, if you have any idea or if you're thinking of any effect, uh, if you watch any video and you want me to analyze and break it down into a step-by-step -step process, I would really like to see your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order to get notified once I upload a new video. And also follow me on Instagram to stay updated with my latest designs and videos. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time.